Hey everybody, I am here and I'm dressed up today in my office style clothing. Um, we're gonna do a yobility that is safe and appropriate for your office. So we did rock and roll yobility last and we're gonna do a little bit of office movement today. So it's getting late in the afternoon. You're starting to feel the pull of an entire day of this. First thing you're gonna do, sit up tall, push against the tops of your knees if you need to. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale for the same amount of time. Expand your chest. We're gonna do some neck nods. Looking over one shoulder, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, a little bit faster. Exhale, nod up and down. Inhale here, exhale. We're gonna do a seated cat cow. If you've never done this before, take a look. You're gonna Inhale, puff your chest out, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round your spine, curl your shoulders forward. Inhale, send your heart through your chest. Exhale, round the spine. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, reach those hands up. Stretch up overhead. Exhale, turn to the right. Inhale. Exhale, one more time each side. Inhale. Oh, I just got a crack. Exhale. Inhale, another crack. <laughs> Exhale. We're gonna do some seated cross crawls. So you can sit on the edge of your seat if you want to. Okay, and you're just gonna bring elbow to knee, just like this, okay? I'm gonna, this seat goes backwards. We're gonna do 10 each side. Okay, if you can't get your elbow to your knee, forearm to knee is fine, or even hand to knee if you wanna try and be like subtle at your desk, okay? Helping stimulate that right-left brain connection, okay? This is gonna feel better than a cup of coffee. I promise, AKA don't drink coffee right now in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, that's about nine and 10, nice. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is we're gonna stand up from our chair, okay? Back of your chair or your desk. All you're gonna do is stand back a little bit Get a chance to kind of let your arms hang, let your chest and your head hang through your armpits. Okay, kind of a modified standing downward dog. Go ahead and stand up. Do it one more time. Walk your feet back. Press those that chest through your armpits. Take a deep breath here. And blow it out through your mouth. Ha! Ah. If you're in your office and you don't want to do that, that's okay too. Okay? Go ahead and step one foot back, one foot forward. You can brace against a chair or a desk. Stretch through the calf. That probably feels really good right now. If you've been sitting a lot today, step the other one back. Okay? What you're gonna do right now is step right off of either a wall or your chair. Step your foot about a half a foot length or a third of a foot length back. You're gonna bring that knee, flex the knee towards the chair so you just tap it. We'll do about eight taps. You should feel some stretch in the back of your calf and your Achilles and maybe even also in the front of your ankle. 
Especially if you were wearing heels today. I just took off my shoes, so. But I was wearing heels all day. Okay? All day meaning for four hours. <laughs> Do the other leg, okay? Move it as close to the chair as you need to in order to tap the chair with your knee, okay? If you're very flexible this way, you may be able to move farther back than I can. I can't move quite a foot length back. I can only move, and one leg is tighter than the other. My right leg, the Achilles, is much tighter, so. Okay, about 10 each leg. All right, so we've stretched through our chest. We've stretched our calves, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do a, um, a, just a slight hamstring stretch. So you're gonna put it on the bottom rung of your chair. If you have an office chair, you could do it right on top of the spinny thing where the wheel casters go out from, okay? Or just if you have a small stool, um, even the top of the bottom file drawer. Just put your heel or however you can make it comfortable. You're gonna have the, heel, the foot in a flexed position. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate it on top of the chair just to demonstrate. You're going to stand up tall, back is straight, and just hinge from the hips over that leg. Don't ground to get there. I don't need you to do that. You're, you should get a stretch through the back of the leg just from doing this. Okay. If you wear heels, the back muscles of your leg tend to unnecessarily shorten, okay? So it's important to stretch those out during the day, whether you foam roll them at night or you stretch them during the day using a calf and a hamstring stretch. If you sit a lot, you are going to shorten up those hip flexors. And I am going to do a whole separate yobility on quad, front of leg, back, um, stretching in our next yobility segment. Okay, but right now we're just focusing on those back of legs. Last thing that you're going to do, go ahead and puff your chest up. So hands are gonna be on your side. Puff your chest up, fold over, halfway, flat back. You can support, your hand, support yourself by having your hands on your knees or your shins. Okay, so you're right here. We inhale, exhale to halfway. Inhale, lift up one more time. Exhale, fold all the way down. Okay, if you can touch your touch the ground, great. If not, that's fine. We're gonna grab opposite elbows, just like this, and hang here. Rock a little bit to one side. The other side, you can let your head hang. Hopefully get a little stretch through the back. If that's painful, don't do that. Don't go as far. You can still kind of rock out your hips a little bit, okay? Or you can even put your hands on your knees and just move your knees, bent knee, straight knee, bent knee, straight knee. And that way you may get a stretch through the mid back. Actually, that kind of feels good. <sighs> okay, that is your eight minute break. So go on and get back to work. And hopefully none of your coworkers were laughing when you did that. <laughs> All right, have a great one.